So, on the 24.4 YPath release, there was a lot of new updates, improvements and new activities. Being one of them, the close pop-up activity, which uses AI to close any type of pop-up detected, either on a browser or in a desktop app. And this activity, as it says here, can be used to close any detected pop-up by semantically matching the labels configured for possible close buttons. So basically, on the activity, we can provide labels uh, for uh, close buttons. And so the activity will use these labels to know where to click when it finds a pop-up. And so let's see now how it works in practice, how we can use this new activity. So first, uh, I just created here a new YPath project and the requirement to have this activity is to have the Y automation package on the 24.4 version at least. And so with that, uh, we can use here the close pop-up. We can find it by searching here on the activities panel. And so uh, first, before using the close pop-up, we need to use the use application browser. So we will indicate application to automate. And then inside of the use application browser, we can use the close pop-up. So it needs to be inside of the use application browser. So this close pop-up activity knows to which app it should look for to any pop-up that might appear to then close it. So let's test first this activity with the desktop app and then we'll see uh, it working on the browser. So to test on desktop, I'll use the notepad plus plus. So I just write here, uh, wrote some text and now I'll close and I generated here, we have generated this pop-up which has the cancel button to close it. So now let's indicate here uh, this app here to the use application browser. And now let's use the close pop-up. And so here it has already by default the close and cancel labels. So to add the label here, we can just write some text and then press enter to add a new label for a pop-up close button. So here we have the cancel and the close. So we don't need to have here new labels. So let's see how it's working. So let's just run and see if the pop-up is closed. And as we can see, the pop-up was closed by this new close pop-up activity by clicking here on this button which is basically a close button for pop-ups. Now let's see on the browser. So to test on the browser, I am using here uh, this page from where we can easily generate alerts, which are basically pop-ups. So let's test here with these alerts. So first we have to use, we have to indicate again on the use application browser. Now uh, indicate this page. And so here we can see on this pop-up that the label on the button to close it's okay. So let's add this label here on the activity. So now let's just wait a bit. And uh, yes, we can see that the pop-up was closed by clicking on the okay button. So it has worked as well. So let's test here with other alert, which has the two buttons in this case. So let's run again. So here we can see that we have both added here as labels. So let's run and see if uh, the activity is able also to close here on this case. And as you can see, the pop-up was closed with a click on the cancel button. And that's it for this tutorial. I just want really to show quickly how to work with this new activity. And if you like this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you don't miss any tutorial released here on the channel.